One of the things that Fernand Ouellette, but many other historians stated was that with the uh, conquest, the old landed elite, you know, the military landed elite of New France basically disappears. Many of them go back to France because they no longer can hold military uh, or office, they're not office holders because the British don't trust them. But the fact is that uh, a number of them stayed, uh, the, the Lobiniers being one example, uh, but there are many others. And uh, Brian Young, for example, is a book which is just out looking at the Tashros. Uh, family from the Chaudier Valley, um, they continue to have influence well into the 20th century, Premier Tashiro, Archbishop Tashiro. Um, so this notion that 1840s, 50s, or even 1760s with the, with the uh, conquest represents a movement away from the old world kind of uh, value system, etc., is a bit exaggerated. Traces of that uh, um, well, I call P Jolie a patrician liberal. So those patrician families continue to have some influence. They don't disappear completely. And it's partly because of that prestige they have. You know, they've, they're seen as uh, being, uh, well, English Canadians have the same sort of thing, maybe not landed, but we obviously have our own sort of aristocracy in a sense as well, some families which have a lot of power, as do Americans. Um, and it's not always based on how much money you have, you know. It's it's based on uh, it's based on class uh, and blood and uh, well, uh, just uh, history, I suppose. Um, so yes, that was one of the things I was interested in exploring: um, uh, the degree to which some of those families persist uh, well into the 19th and 20th century in terms of power. Jolie's family is interesting. He had a number of sons and daughters who all become part of the British military imperial forces in a way. His sons move, become royal engineers and spend their careers building railways and such in India. His daughters all marry military engineers and such. And so they all become Anglo anglicized and end up, except for one son who took over the seniory, end up living in India and England and so on. Uh, so that family largely you know, disappears, but other families, partly because they were Protestant and therefore couldn't marry into the Catholic French Canadian uh, group because he didn't marry across religious lines very often. His parents married across religious lines and had a very unhappy marriage and eventually separated. So uh, that wasn't, you know, done very much in the 19th century.